Sage Forsaken here. Today we're going to be talking about a bookstore or a, com a, car a video game store or a comic book store. Basically, used uh, it's a used media store. They have CDs, DVDs, video games, Blu rays, old game systems, new game systems, everything. So, why are we talking about this? This is Sage Forsaken. He talks about toys. I'm going to stop the video. Don't stop the video. We're not done. Okay, so McKay's books, uh, you know, you can see them in Knoxville, Nashville, uh, you know, they're in Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, and who knows where else. But basically, what they do is you take your stuff, you trade it in, anything you trade in, you can use the store credit to buy anything in the store. So basically, even if you have a bunch of old books you're not reading anymore, to trade those in, you can get some video games. You got some CDs you don't listen to anymore because you got MP3s now. Trade those in. You can get, you know, uh, books. And now, something I didn't know they were doing until I went this last week, they're doing action figures. So, I went to my local McKay's uh, in um, some city somewhere. <laughs> Uh, Winston-Salem, and they actually had Marvel Legends, and you can see for basically $10, I was able to get two Marvel Legends each, and I got this with trade credit, so I didn't pay anything out of pocket at this store. In fact, I went to both Mar Mar both of the McKay's that are locally here near me in North Carolina, and basically, I was able to get two different... Um, you know, action figures at each store using my trade credit. And of course, I got a bunch of books too. The stuff you saw in the first of uh, the video is actually one of my friends, you know, Paper Airplane. He's actually videotaping this right now. Um, he's actually going to go over that as his haul video at some other time. But I wanted you to kind of see that they do have a little bit of everything. Now, um, the great thing about this is, is, you know, they don't always have Marvel Legends, but they had other stuff. They had Marvel Select. They had some DC uh, Universe type stuff. Uh, I, I personally picked these two out because I'm kind of focusing on Marvel Legends right now, personally. And uh, I got these two because they were also cheaper. I mean, this was $9.95, and that's a really good uh, base body for all sorts of things you could do with that. I don't know. I've thought about if I could get a better head for it, I might make a... Uh, might make a what is that anime guy? Ah oh, man, now my head, my brain is not working. That's okay. But anyway, um, that's a really good base body for just about anything I'd want to do with it. And he's yellow, so he's already the color of the anime figure I was thinking about making. Because um, he wears yellow and red, and he has a cape and stuff like that. One punch man. One punch man. Yes, thank you. But I have to have a completely different head for it. Uh, that's what I was thinking about doing with that. That's why I got him. Um, and, of course, Baron Zemo. I'm not sure. I mean, this is the unmasked version. I don't know. Uh, it's a variant. I don't know if it's worth more or whatever, but they only had $8 on it. He's not a really popular character. Um, but I knew that it would be pretty rare that I would run into him again and not have to pay out of pocket for it. And for only $8 for a Marvel Legend, it's still a great deal. I'm not going to take these out of the package because I don't want to, you know, do that until I know what I'm doing with them. But I love the Build-A-Figure that uh, Baron Zemo has here. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get all the figures. <laughs> Funnily enough, at home I already have an out-of-the-package Psylocke. But um, I do think it's kind of cool. It's a cool Build-A-Figure. Um, there's some of those characters that I just don't really care for, and then other characters, they're just going to be hard to track down. I don't know if it'd be worth my time and money to buy all the figures so I could build, uh, you know, build him. Anyway, so that's those two. Now, I did go ahead and go to the Greensboro store, too, and first, the first guy I saw was, um, you know, Marvel's, uh, what's his name here? Chameleon. Now, the Chameleon figure is... Well, he's a shapeshifter. 
Um, it was eleven ninety five. I didn't pay out of pocket for this one because I had no trade stuff. Uh, however, um, it comes with a Rhino figure build a build a figure part. I probably will never build Rhino, <laughs> but I did like it. Came with three heads. It comes with John, Jonah Johnson's Hammerhead, and and of course it comes with these guns for Hammerhead to use, or of course uh, Chameleon. Though I don't think Jonah Johnson will be using it. Uh, if, you know, I do have a Spider-Man at home already, so I could easily have a diorama with Janet Jolmason at a desk and Spider-Man looking in the window or something. I thought, uh, even if I didn't use that body, I, I've gotten some other, uh, bodies that have suits on them, things of that nature. It'll be good. I could have Hammerhead with those two goons from the WWE, uh, figures I showed a couple, like a week ago, and he could, those could be his goons, and he could be the boss, and that would be... All I need next is, you know, Spider-Man fighting him or something. So that would be pretty easy to set up a scene. That's why I picked this particular figure. Um, they had Craven at that place. I didn't get Craven though. Um, and I think they even had the Spider-Man. A couple, a couple of the other figures down there. But uh, overall, I really like the Marvel Legends series of figures. And being able to get them without having to pay the full $22 they normally cost is a big deal for me. Um, I just don't see myself spending a hundred dollars to be able to do a build a figure. Unless it's the X-Men line, then I may I may do it someday. <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and let's, oh yeah, let's look at this real quick. And three sad onions. Why are they so sad? And if you know who you are, you know who you are. Okay. He's a bushy kiss too. I love that. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, this is my the one I've really been looking for. This is the actual X Men figure. This is Kitty Pride. Right now in the comics, she's actually in charge of one of the teams. She's actually being really badass right now. And if I'd bought it at GameStop, it would have been twenty two dollars. If I bought it, um, I've not been able to find it anywhere else. I tried to get it off Walmart's website, but they were sold out because uh, they had it on sale for a while. But here I did get it for only $13 in trade. Basically, between the two stores, I spent about $5 out of pocket on all the books, CDs, and action figures that I got. So I was really happy with my trip. Um, you know, I just have to build up some more stuff to take to trade next time before I go back. Or else I'll be broke. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Kitty Pride is great because she comes with uh, the Magneto uh, head for my Onslaught or if I want to make a custom Magneto right here. And of course she comes with her dragon. Uh, now, and of course another uh, Juggernaut Build-A-Figure part. I actually already have Iceman, Havoc, and I think I have I have the cable, and I have uh, I think I have Jean Grey though I'm not sure. So I'm already about halfway through getting the builder figures to build the Juggernaut. Um, I want to get the Wolverine of course, even if I don't get the full builder figure. Um, the reason I have the Havoc and the Iceman already is that I paid basically the um, I, p I bought them at the the Ross store for only $6.99. I'd love to hit a Daredevil. I mean, oh my gosh. Deadpool. Okay, I'm losing my cred here. Okay, so anyway, um, I do want to just say that these Marvel Legends and are really great. And the great thing about the new packages versus the old packages is that you can take them out of the package and put them back in the package without, you know, without hurting your value too much because you can still put them in the package with, and all you have to do is cut this little sellotape here to take them out and you're not going to be sitting here saying well it's you know you can make sure you don't lose any parts by putting it back in the package afterwards so that's why I wanted to go ahead and show these off and of course uh, be sure to check out my channel any other you know I'll be actually talking about some modifications I'll be making to some legends soon I plan on making a doom and a magneto soon uh, using this magneto head I'll be making a magneto uh, as a custom and I'll be making a Doom action figure using two other two other Marvel Legends figures that I have so I really am 
moving into Marvel Legends, I'm going to do less 4 inch and, and 3.5 inch customs. Really, uh, it just is too much to sculpt that small, and it's harder to justify it because um, it's harder to display with cool figures and stuff. Anyway, um, thank you again for checking out my channel. Uh, and I was just, you know, like I said, three sad onions on this figure, too. Armando, that's for you. Why are you so sad? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. This is Sage for Second. Signing off.